everyone welcome back to my channel new hair who's this if you guys missed my last video you're probably like what the hell is going on with her hair i bleached half of my hair and i'm really digging it today i'm here with a makeup look because you guys ask me a lot for makeup tutorials and it's something that i don't do as regular here but yeah since you guys are always asking i decided to come back with another makeup tutorial and this one it's more like an everyday slash sun kissed makeup it's basically my everyday makeup right now and it looks like this and also involves like a new technique that i've been doing for my freckles which i believe looks uh, far more natural than the freckles I used to do. So yeah, if you guys want to see how I do my everyday makeup, which is basically this, So the first thing we are going to do is to actually apply a liquid illuminator from NYX This is called the Born to Glow And I've been quite enjoying using this first before the foundation Because it just makes your skin glow and also sticky for the foundation to work better So I'm just going to use a brush and just put it all over my face This is also a good tip if you don't want to wear any foundation at all and you just want your skin to look better I think it looks so good after applying this Next I'm gonna be applying my favorite foundation which is the Giorgio Armani Lumina Silk foundation Like this is just a drop, I swear to god, like a little bit goes a long way Okay, now I'm going to use the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter, a concealer in the color 170 and I will just be applying here, under the eyes and also on the lid, a little bit on the nose here and on the chin I'm just going to use the Beauty Blender to blend this Also, how cute is my new blender? It's like dark blue it's so cute. I wanted a black one, but it was sold out. Okay, now before setting, I'm going to add a little bit of contour with a contour stick. And I have this for ages. This is the Kiko Milano Full Protection Stick Foundation in a very dark shade, which is number 13. So I use this for contour. And actually, I don't know if they still sell this because it's actually, I have it for years. And I usually just apply a little bit because a little bit goes a long way with this and here below the nose and then here on top of the nose to create like a little bubbly nose is that even a term, a bubbly nose? and here under the lips a little bit here on the jaw and that's it and then I go with the foundation brush just to blend this all And with a smaller brush, I just blend the nose And I drag the product up, because this is going to be probably a lot of product If it's not, you can grab some more, but with this product, I just drag it up Create like the nose shape Now for the powder, I'm going to be using the Rimmel London Rimmel London? Rimmel London, I don't know how you pronounce this Insta Fix and Matte Powder And I just apply it first to the lids before they start creasing It actually smells good it Smells like sunscreen And under the eye, which also creases very fast And then with a bigger brush, I just go gently all over the face Okay, so I've been adding some fake freckles to my everyday makeup Because I think they look so cute And also because I discovered the new technique that works so much better for me I'm going to start by doing that and I'm going to use this bronzer by Fenty Beauty It's called Private Island And I'm just going to add it just a tiny bit to the places where the freckles are going to be Yeah, just a tiny bit, you want this to be a little like sun-kissed now I'm going to add the blush because I want it to be under the freckles And I'm going to use the Stilazi Bahamas palette, you guys know I love this one And I use the Tropic shade right here I like to add it just above the line that we drew on the contour here And also below the nose, just to give it a little color And just here on the cheeks, it's going to help 
with a sun kissed look we want to shave. So now to the freckles. I'm going to use this eyebrow powder here from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is called the chocolate and has these two tones right here. And I'm gonna use this which is a little bit more orangey and with a brush like this which is not very sharp. It's more like an eyeshadow brush, a small one but it's still an eyeshadow brush. And I just tip it on the powder. Let me zoom in for you guys. Sorry about my eyebrows, they definitely need some work. So basically I just start by drawing small spots and drag them all over. And you really want to drag it as far as you can. Yeah, like this. I think this side is done. And now let's do the other one. And now I'm going with an angle sharp brush like this one. And with a darker brown. And I'm just going to hit some spots with a more like precise brush. So this is basically what I do. I think this is the way that it looks the most natural. Okay, with the same angle brush and the same powder, I'm doing my brows now. And I like to do a line here as straight as possible, because lately I've been doing my brows more straight. I even elongate them, so you need to just put more powder on that. And then I do the top line here and just fill it in. Just as easy as that. Just like to brush them through while I fill them just to see if there's no spots missing. Basically this is it and I'm going to do the same with the other one. Okay guys, so brows are done and now for the eyeshadow I like something very simple and natural for this look. So I'm going to use the bronzer that we used previously. And I'm just adding on the lid a little bit of bronzer and blend it to kind of give a little bit more dimension to the lid and do the same with the other eye very gently, very natural not going too much on the inside just like outer corners and blending it to the middle here okay now with the Anastasia Beverly Hills glow kit with my finger I will just take the white sand here which is this middle shade and apply it a little bit to my nose and this will help lift it even more and a little bit here on the top of the nose bridge and a little bit on the top lip. Then with an angle brush and with the same powder from Anastasia Beverly Hills but this time in ebony which is a little bit darker I'm going to do like a winged line here with powder to be a little bit more natural than a liquid eyeliner and just blend it here a little bit until the middle and do the same with the other eyes like the easiest eyeliner ever Okay, now still with this, I'm just going to draw a little bit of a line here on the inner corner of the eye. I just want to drag the eye a little bit here, but just a tiny, tiny bit. Now I'm gonna curl these lashes. How cute is this blue curler, by the way? This is from Ico. And also from Ico, I'll be using the Black Magic Mascara, which says drama and curl. That's all a girl wants. Okay guys, I'm almost almost done. I just want to add some lipstick now and I will be using my favorite lip palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. You guys know I'm always using this and I'm going to start by using this brown here as a um, like lip liner basically and as I'm applying it, I'm also blending it and it's hard to talk while I'm applying this. And here on the top, I go over the Cupid's bow like this. I prefer to see like a round shape here. Okay, now I'm going with this shade right here, which is a much more lighter kind of nude shade and I'm just applying it all over the lips. And this is it guys, this is all there is to my everyday makeup slash sun kissed look slash no makeup makeup, whatever you want to call this makeup. But it's basically what I've been wearing every day lately, I think it's so cute and it looks very natural, it doesn't look like an in your face glam 
so yeah guys thank you so so much for watching this video i hope you guys like this makeup look let me know in the comments if you want to see more makeup tutorials if this is something that really interests you or not also don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already what the hell are you thinking just subscribe already also follow me on instagram and tiktok i will leave all the links on the description and i think that's it guys bye see you next time love you